What is up, Bills fans, Bills Mafia, the Buffalo Bills Nation? I'm Thomas. This is the Buffalo Fanatics. You guys already know what it is. Today I'm back with a brand new video. Rebuilding the Buffalo Bills in eight steps. Let's get right into it. So obviously, if you haven't already noticed, I've changed my background a little bit. You know, uh, I thought the flag was a little boring. Uh, I've been wanting to change it for a while now. Finally pulled the trigger. It took me a long time to get everything up and going, and now I think it looks it looks awesome. So tell me what you guys think down below. Also, before we jump right into this video, I just want to let you guys know that there is a brand new Buffalo Fanatics Discord chat. It is blowing up. It is popping. So go check it out. It's a lot of fun. Uh, join the conversation. Literally anything Bills related. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I'll see you guys there. And also, if you guys use Instagram, please go follow me on Instagram at Elite Fanatic. I post there pretty much every single day on my story. It's a lot of fun, so go ahead and follow me there. Now, without any further introduction, let's get right into the video. So step one, buy Matt Paradis in free agency. You need a Kent Hull to your Jim Kelly. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? I don't think so. This guy is possibly the best offensive lineman in the whole entire uh, 2019 free agency class. So putting money his way would be a very, very wise decision considering how bad our offensive line was back in 2018. He does turn 30 soon, but if we give him probably like a four year, maybe even a five year deal uh, and say, hey, your last seasons are going to be with us. I'm sure he would be down for it. He grew up in a very small town, uh, so coming to Buffalo, he probably wouldn't mind it. Step two, buy one of these guys in free agency. Trent Brown, Daryl Williams, or Jawan James. Obviously, we really need an offensive tackle. A veteran one would really help us out. And a guy like Trent Brown, who's probably the best left tackle uh, free agent there is, Throw some money his way. He's a big dude. He's like 6'8", 340 pounds. He looked great uh, in the Super Bowl with the Patriots. So, you know, put some money his way. I would love to see the Bills go out and say, listen, you're going to come to Buffalo. We're going to make you come to Buffalo. We are going to pay you. And then maybe we move Deion Dawkins to the right tackle position. I don't know. Something like that might work. I have Darrell Williams on here too uh, because Carolina connection. Why the heck not? He has had injury problems, but I really think that he can be solid when he's healthy. So he's kind of my second guy to look at. And the third guy, Juwan James, a big injury history, but when he's on the field, he is fantastic. And that creates the conversation, you know, which guy are we actually going to go after? You know, the guy from Carolina makes sense. Sean McDermott, Brandon Bean, they know him. Uh, Trent Brown in the division, bringing him to Buffalo might be interesting. And then Juwan James also in the division, bringing him to Buffalo might be interesting. Step three, buy Thomas Davis in free agency. Now, the reason why I like Thomas Davis is because although he's pretty old, it gives you another veteran presence that you just lost in Kyle Williams. He still wants to play and he would be able to come in and we would be able to run a lot more different defenses uh, with him. And Lorenzo Alexander said it, man, imagine the packages we could run with this guy. And he would most likely want to come to Buffalo. Carolina does not want to re-sign him. He is 35 years old. And so he's up there in age, but he might want to retire, you know, where he feels comfortable, uh, you know, with Sean McDermott and Brandon Bean and this defense that he would fit perfectly in. Also, check out this clip. <laughs> oh, man. If that doesn't make you think that they're going to throw some money his way, I don't know what will. Step number four, you must add depth in free agency at these positions. Special teams, wide receiver, tight end, defensive tackle, linebacker. Because if some guys go down on this team and we don't have a solid backup, we're not going anywhere. Obviously, special teams did not play good this year. It was not good. That's what led to the former special teams coach getting fired. And they got to make sure that they get the right players for those special teams positions. Obviously, wide receiver has not been good for a while. And so it would just make sense to get another, another guy uh, in the mix to just try to see what can happen. Tight end, obviously, we need to add somebody, but I don't know who. Uh, you know, there's a couple names, but they're all not super big names. So it would be kind of interesting to see, you know, them pick up another guy. With Kyle Williams retiring, makes sense to get another defensive tackle. So maybe they draft 
draft one. Maybe they get one in free agency. Hopefully they just get somebody else uh, as a depth player. I would like to see them do that, but uh, who knows? And then linebacker because Matt Milano, Tremaine Edmonds, Lorenzo Alexander, not enough names. You need somebody else. And that's where maybe Thomas Davis comes in or somebody else in free agency, uh, maybe a little bit younger than Thomas Davis since he's 35 years old. But, you know, I'd like to see them go and get somebody else in free agency. Step number five. Now, this is where it gets interesting. The Buffalo Bills currently hold the ninth overall selection in the 2019 NFL Draft. I believe that they should trade back to the late teens and get a defensive tackle. Now, many of you are going to be very mad and upset when I say something like that because you want to get an offensive tackle like Jonah Williams, Dalton Risner, Jawan Taylor... Greg Little, you know, all these names that are going around right now. Well, the thing is, for me, I think that if the Bills stack the offensive line in free agency, get a tackle, you know, get a guy like Trent Brown or Dale Williams or Jawan James, also getting Matt Paradis, I think that that level of, hey, we got to go get a guy super early, um, it goes down and you're able to then fill different positions. Remember, the Buffalo Bills had the 16th best rushing defense this last season, so they definitely need help at defensive tackle filling those gaps. In my opinion, there's only two guys that really make sense here. Jeffrey Simmons out of Mississippi State and two, Dexter Lawrence out of Clemson. Now, the reason why this actually makes sense is because if they were to do this and trade back, they could potentially get another first and maybe second round pick for the next year. And that would be huge because then you're able to really build and that's how you become a championship team. Maybe that next year that you get with that extra first round pick, you trade that to a team to get a star player for your team and they help you get to the Super Bowl. Now, I know that sounds really lofty and really optimistic, but I'm just saying, look at the Rams. They did it. They traded everything to get to the Super Bowl, and we could do the same. Now, personally, out of the two guys I mentioned, Jeffrey Simmons and Dexter Lawrence, I like Dexter Lawrence more because he's more of a run-defending defensive tackle, a true nose tackle, which I think that we could really use since Kyle Williams is officially gone. Step number six, draft a wide receiver in the second round. Now, you might hear some names like Marquise Hollywood Brown, AJ Brown, JJ Arkega Whiteside and Debo Samuel. All of these guys are very promising. However, my personal favorite is Hollywood Brown. And the reason why is because he's got electrifying speed, he's extremely quick, he's got great hands, he's got great vision, he's just an all-around baller. Now, when I was watching some of his tape, I sat back and I said to myself, I can just see Allen throwing him the ball, like him being his favorite target. So with getting one of these guys, hopefully Marquise Hollywood Brown, that would immediately upgrade our lacking wide receiver core. Step number seven, trade LaShawn McCoy, keep Chris Ivory, keep Marcus Murphy, and draft a young running back. Now, these are some of the names that you'll hear probably in the third and like later rounds. Bryce Love out of Stanford, Damian Harris out of Alabama, Benny Snell out of Kentucky, and Daryl Henderson out of Memphis. All of these guys are pretty solid. However, my personal favorite out of all of these names that I listed is Damian Harris. Now, the reason why is because he's got pretty decent speed, He's a bullback. He's going to run you over. He bounces off tacklers. He's got great vision. And he's a great addition to a team that is trying to rebuild their offensive line. He's going to be very, very solid. And I could definitely see him on the squad next year because of Brian Dable and that Alabama connection. Now, the reason why this actually makes a lot of sense is because Shady's getting old. He didn't have a great year. Yes, they did say that they were going to bring him back. But for $9 million that has to at least raise a couple eyebrows and say, wait a minute, let's let's backtrack for a second and take another look at this. So I really think that drafting a young running back would be one of the smartest moves that they could do this year. Now my final step, step eight, draft a guard and a tight end in the later rounds, rounds five to seven. The Buffalo Bills have two fifth round picks, a sixth round pick and two seventh round picks. So they're able to move up and down the draft as well as get some late round gems. They should really look at these two names very closely in the later rounds. 
CJ Conrad and Lamont Gillard. CJ Conrad out of Kentucky, there's two things you gotta know. He's got great hands and he's a great blocker. That's a big time addition to a struggling offensive line in a rebuilding offense. I would love to see this guy with the Bills next season. Also, Lamont Gaillard is out of Georgia. He can play center or guard, so there's the versatility there. He has already met with the Bills, and he's a big sleeper in the draft, so I really think that the Bills should look at both of these guys, and I would like both of them on the squad next year. But that's gonna pretty much do it for me, everybody. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a big thumbs up down below. Comment your opinions. Let me know exactly what you guys think. Uh, if you guys haven't subscribed already, please go down and subscribe. Click that bell to notify you every single time we post a video so that you guys never miss an upload. But with that being said, I appreciate you guys so much and go Bills. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.